So I think a good sign for uh, being a, in cancerous condition is when the lymphatic fluid is not flowing uh, as freely as it should. And I think that's a sign by just looking at your uh, reaction to your socks. So you can see I got a bump here and then it uh, gets skinny here. Okay, that should be that should be a, a fluid, um, like one type of uh, appearance instead of two appearances, the skinny and then the, the thick. I think that's a clear sign. I've been suffering a lot uh, with this, this condition. Uh, I think it's a cancerous condition. I mean, a lot of your lymphatic, uh, whatever they call it, uh, types of cancers um, result from that sluggishness of the lymphatic fluid. I mean, I walk a lot, but it's that's not enough. I think it's got to be targeted nutritionally um, through, or, well, particularly through the barley grain. I haven't been eating that in a long time because stores just don't sell it. Or at least uh, if they do sell the barley flour, I do recall... Um, it, it adversely affecting uh, my stomach. Um, something about barley flour isn't very appealing. Um, but uh, that's a uh, stimulant for uh, the lymph uh, on top of movement and exercise and stuff. As you can see, you know, movement and, and uh, um, massage and stuff. I mean, clearly this the sock is like kind of massaging it but it's constricting it but i think it's it's highlighting a problem because my skin doesn't always look like this it's just when i'm i'm at my worst um and this has looked worse before i've been able to like um depress my thumb into my ankle and make a, a indentation yeah, because my feet were so swollen. That's that's really not good. No swelling is... If you could get away with no swelling, then you're in good shape. And I don't think exercise is completely the, the answer. Because I don't think it relieves it completely. I think a good diet does. Um, and youth, too, of course. Just because they have natural uh, energy flow. But I think this is a good simple measure right here to know how what the status of your lymph is, you know, how how cancerous are you. Because cancer is, as we know, a stagnancy in the body, and the lymph is one of the first signs for stagnancy. I mean you could you could practically just press on it and yeah, there's just a little bit of an indentation there. Uh, and that's that's just not good. That's that's just too much being built up, and it's a backflow of of sewage pretty much, just on the in the th coursing through the lymph. Um, so that's that needs to be relieved, and I want to be able to relieve that. I think I can relieve it with uh, barley, and uh, well, I like to believe hops too. I just I'm I'm a strong proponent in consuming the uh, the elements of alcohol, but not the actual alcohol itself. Like the barley that goes into the the sugarization, the the fermentation of it all, and then the hops that will give uh, good appetite um, um, stimulation and stuff. The bitter taste, you, uh, you just you can't beat that bitter taste. And as far as I understand, back in the old days, they used to consume a lot of bitter beers. But for some reason, we've, we've the manufacturers have scaled back on that bitterness. And I, I think that can do a lot of good for our health. It feeds the liver, of all things. I, you know, I, there might be other other things, other reasons why I got this swelling going on in both my in my ankles um it could be a liver issue as well that's affecting the lymph nodes but uh but this is a sign that's something to look for